This is Sherry at the Troll Hall Museum in Alliance, Ohio, and I'm here today because I love trolls and I want to share my passion with you. We're going to do some troll talk and unbox some trolls. I'm Sherry. I have the Guinness World Record Troll Doll Collection. I house it at the Troll Hall Museum in Alliance, Ohio. Everywhere, trolls. Open for guided, interactive, educational, and funny tours. I've created a tourist destination where I've added wisecracks, comedy escape room, and Mad Dog's Crazy Cat Cafe. So really cool fun place call me text me please subscribe to my channel ever exciting things happening here at the troll hole museum after getting the guinness world record it brought a lot of publicity that was the point of the whole thing take my measly little troll collection and use it as a hook it worked so well that people started contacting me with their trolls occasionally they bring them into the shop other times they mail them and then i do make some purchases because now that it became a business i have good license to add more trolls to my collection that gets into a whole nother story. Leave comments below if you want to know how I got started in this whole crazy troll-tastic world of troll doll collecting. Let's jump to our first bag. I have peeked at it. Uh, it was brought in by some folks that had previously donated when their uh, parents had passed away. Their parents had actually gone to Denmark where the original troll dolls, this iconic image, came from. Because let me tell you, there are thousands and thousands of troll doll images in this particular bag. Let's see. We have an age to perfection. This was the Russ, shake them like that. Everybody knows that's how you get their hair to stand up. Age to perfection. And he is aged a little bit there. This was made by the Russ Berry Company. Mr. Russ made troll dolls from the 60s all the way up through the 2000s. Bottom of the foot, R-U-S-S, Russ. And this was a set of seniors. Aged perfection, older than a tree, and so on. Most of them came in the two inch size, but we do have some of these eight inch size ones. Once I get these, I double check in the museum to see if I have them. If they are unique in one way, I can add them to the collection. If not, they can be rehomed out. Really, really cool. Let's hear. We have a pair of Unita dolls on the back between the shoulder blades there. You can see it says Unita Doll Company. Made in China. Bottom of the feet, double horseshoes. Usually these came in the little two, two inch sizes. When you figure out trolls, you measure them from the top of the plastic body to the feet of the plastic body and not usually the hair because the hair comes in all lengths plus the hair over time takes a beating. This hair is not as thick and lush as the rust trolls. This size was not sold naked. They came closed. This is the farmer one. So they had ranch nick, nurse nick, nick being short for wish nick. This might be customized. Stay tuned for another video about customizing troll dolls. If you get the generic ones, there's lots of cool things you can do with them, dye them, paint them. Look, I have a cute little tiny troll here. It's in the bottom of the bag. Got kind of brillowy looking hair. Sold in gumball machines. Sometimes Cracker Jacks. He's got something on the back of his head, but it's really, really small for my eyes. Have to get a magnifying glass. But I found the perfect little spot right there. Boom. How you like that? Because we love playing with the trolls. What else? Ta-da! 1960s troll. His hair is a little on the short side, but I can see the black tips. Those were the way the sheep grew them. So this is real Icelandic wool, super soft. And if I unbuckle the back here, it says D-A-M on the back of him. Damn. I actually pronounce Dom, but you know, he did that on purpose because he knew that it would be controversial. Trolls love controversy. So this is his original outfits with the little red striping on them. This is very prized. I will check out later if he is unique enough to add to the collection or not. Though I do recognize this kind of gray outfit. Those are more prized than other ones. This one. Woohoo. This one is the super dude of the trolls. So it has real Icelandic wool, super beautiful, beautiful, beautiful long locks cone head. I don't know if you can hear that, but this is hard. They were made with these big cone heads. He's got a little felt hat, felt clothes, expressive, movable joints on the arms. Doo, 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 doo. Nothing on the back there. No identifying marks. Nothing on the head. Let's get the britches off. Trolls were one of the very few dolls that were sold butt naked. Here it is. D-A-M right there. 1982 in very, very faint letters underneath the D-A-M. And then on this one, 243. So that's the model number. A lot of the dams had different numbers stamped on them. Originally, the dam company, the materials they used that they cast their molds from, they only lasted about 500 times. So they had a lot of unique troll dolls because the molds kept falling apart in those early years in the 1950s before they came into other more resistant pieces. So this is a pretty, pretty cool little dude. I do have one similar in the museum. So we'll put him down like 
like that. So you can see quite a bit of difference. His hands are much, much bigger than the other. He's got some really good sized hands with one, two, three, four fingers. Four fingers, four toes. That's what makes for a troll. This batch brought in to the museum will be cleaned up and added to the museum. Thanks so much to our local supporter for bringing in these troll dolls. What else do we have? Dropped off in a little bag. Sports trolls, cowboys, the Bills, the Lions, the 49ers. One of the video kids, they're glow in the dark. These were handed out in Burger King Happy Meals in the 1990s. And the last here, we have a little pencil topper. He's kind of a generic one, no markings on him, the white hair, nothing on his belly, pencil toppers. Another wonderful set of trolls donated to the Troll Hole Museum, incorporated or rehomed back. Like any of the trolls that you see, leave a comment, check out our store, Wix and Etsy shops. And we have connections to our Facebook page as well. My prize of what we've been filming here today, this special dude here. Love it. If you like what you're watching here, subscribe below and watch for the next video. And I will be opening up and sharing some more of the latest stuff to come to the museum.